Welcome back to the channel guys. This is going to be part 2 of hacking your Wii U. So you've already got your Wii U hacked and homebrewed. All you got to do now is add emulators. And Today we're going to talk about exactly how to do that. So I'm going to show you how to get the emulators, how to install them, how to get them configured and running so that you can enjoy some arcade and old school classics on this console. Let's do it. <laughs> guys so I'm here on the computer I put in my SD card and I'm ready to go I want to go get some emulators so where you want to go is Wii U brew that's B-R-U dot com okay so this is the website here these guys have actually put a lot of time and a lot of effort they got all kind of loaders games emulators and tools you can even chat with them through discord and IRC uh, and you can follow them on Twitter as well. I highly recommend supporting the site. Like I said, these guys have really put a lot of personal time into this. So it's a great team. So what you want to do is click on the left side and go into emulators. And they've been putting some effort into making sure that all the emulators are supported. They're slowly getting there and they've gotten a lot done just the past year. So in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to try for the arcade. We're going to go for MAME 2003. So you click on it, you click download, and once you download this, you're going to need either a WinRAR or WinZip, you know, extractor so that you can open up the file because this is going to come in a compressed format. So go ahead and click OK. I've already downloaded these. Now that you've downloaded the emulator, you need to go get some ROMs, obviously. Easiest way to do that is to take this name right here, copy paste it into Google, and add the word ROM set to the end. So I'm not going to be able to show you to do that uh, for obvious reasons, but once you do that, there's plenty of sites that will come up and you can go get the ROMs on your own. Okay, so what we're looking at here on the left side are the files that I downloaded, the emulator from Wii U Brew, and of course the ROM set that matches 2003 main.78 and on the right side is my SD card I pulled it out of my Wii U it's in the computer now so where do these files go and how do we get it to work so after you've extracted it the <clears throat> lib retro main 2003 folder will have a Wii U apps folder and main 3 uh, sorry 2003 lib retro so on the right side under your SD card under Wii U apps is where you want to copy that folder so you can just drag and drop. There you go. It should only take a second. It's a pretty small file. Next, what you want to do is create a folder to put your ROMs in. So on your SD card under Wii U, you can just create a folder in here called ROMs. And then underneath ROMs, if you want to separate them out even more, I do, and I recommend it, you can make another folder. We'll just call it MAME 2003. This will help separate it so your ROMs don't get all piled up into one big folder. So now what we'll do is go into here and go into ROMs and we'll download one of these and put it on just to save time. I'm only going to do one so that you guys don't have to wait the hours it would take or minutes <laughs> to copying over every single ROM. So uh, let's just take a simple one, 1944. How about that? It's a great shooter, a classic shooter. Of all the 19 series, 1944 is definitely one of my favorites. All right, I've copied over the ROMs that I wanted. I've ejected out the SD card. Let's go over to the Wii U, put it in, and see how we got to actually launch this game. So I powered up my Wii U. I had my SD card in, got our emulator loaded, and we got 1944. This is how you play it. First, let me switch it so you guys can actually see that. There you go. So here's the homebrew launcher that I have. I'm going to go ahead and start that. And since it's on the screen, what I'm going to do is use my Wiimote. Once you've launched the homebrew launcher, you can simply cycle over until you see main 2003. And there it is. Go ahead and click on it. 
It'll take a minute to load. Libretro RPX file being loaded now. Once the emulator is loaded, you'll be given a menu. And this menu will allow you to browse to all your realms. I'll show you how to do that. So what you're seeing is what I see on my gamepad. So go down to load content, hit the A button. You want to go down to your SD card or USB, whichever one you have. And go down to Wii U and go to our ROMs, main 2003. There's our game, 1944. It may or may not ask you to load as an archive. Sometimes it does. Go ahead and select that and use main 2003. And there you go. It loads right up. Now, you can play this on your gamepad, or what I've done is I've also got a Wii Pro Controller. There we go. So now I can do two players if I want. There we go. A little too loud. So by default, the minus sign is how you get coins. And the plus sign is how you start the game. So I'm using my Wii Classic Pro Controller for Player 2. Love this game. This is such a great game. The soundtrack is awesome. The sound effects are awesome. The gameplay is intense. The bosses are huge. I mean, you just can't go wrong. So you can also see this on the gamepad. This is mirrored on the gamepad. So player one can also hit the uh, minus sign to get a coin and then the plus sign and then use his d-pad as well. So you guys can either look at the screen or both use a gamepad, either way. So it's a pretty cool feature on the Wii U. The Wii U also has the advantage of being able to play on HDMI. I'm going to clear out this screen. While the Wii is still on component. So there's another small advantage. Anyway guys, I hope this has helped you out. If your ROM doesn't load or if you have a black screen, most likely what happened is you don't have the correct ROM set. That's 99% of the problem, or it's just a bad ROM. Okay, So just go to another site, download another one, and test it again. So anyway, if you guys have any questions, let me know. Uh, once you're done with the game, you simply hit the home button on the gamepad, and that brings up the menu. You can either close out the game itself and load up another one, or hit the B button and go back and at the bottom you can quit out of RetroArch and once you select the A button it'll exit out take you back to the homebrew launcher and that's pretty much it and you can load up another emulator or you can close it out alright guys have a good one and enjoy and as always keep on gaming